king in it. Rule your own world. What is happening, people? As you know, we are going to Southeast Asia in like four days, so we thought we'd do a pack with us video. If you can tell by our little chirpy Christmas faces, we're excited! So we thought we'll do this now because we know a lot of people ask us questions on what we've taken, what we need, you know, what they're gonna need when they go. So this is this is this. This is happening. So first of all, you're gonna need to get yourself a bag. We mentioned this one before, but here it is in the flesh. This is a mountain warehouse 50 litre hybrid. So it's got your little straps. But then the it's, backpack. And then it's got a roller as well, the wheels. We would definitely recommend these. Like we've been trolling the internet trying to search for one. This looks perfect. So. Who have you been trolling? Is that not the word? Trolling. That's what I said. So this is the perfect bag if you need to have it on your back like when you're going to be walking over sand and stuff getting to your hostels and whatnot stick it on your back if it's too heavy and you need to roll it in the airport just give it a roll which is amy all the time it's always too heavy not tried and tested yet we'll come back to let you know if we recommend it yet but i did have one of these last time a roller slash backpack it was a dream come true so we'll link this bag below and everything else that we're going to mention today we'll link underneath if you want to get it for yourself so hand luggage wise i'm taking the gopro seeker bag for me it's perfect because it's really small it's got everything you need it's got loads of little pockets you love that bag don't you it's great it's so small it's got a little laptop slot on the back and you can clip your gopro to there so you can film yourself walking and that and me i'm gonna take my Thule bag, it's grey. Look at the colour on that. I just fell in love with it. And it's got so many pockets. That's where my laptop goes back there as well. This is a problem for every male oh. on earth. About 26 of these just fell out of Amy's bag. So this bag is the Subterra bag, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna link, link it all below, but look how smart that is. Oh yeah, and that bit straps to your, to your suitcase. Is that how it goes? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, but you know. So believe it or not, everything we're about to show you is gonna go in these four bags. So we've got, obviously we've got two of these, one each, and these two hand luggage bags, and all of this fits, unbelievable stuff. Okay, let's start with essential. So we'll do like essential travel stuff that you need to take with you. This is mainly directed at like Southeast Asia or like hot countries where there's gonna be like hot weather and mosquitoes. What you got? Himodium. This is for when you shit yourself in Thailand because you've eaten some bad food. Mosquito net. You are going to need one of these. Trust the brother. Mosquito spray. This is called Trek. It's got 97% DEET. It's the highest we found. We're taking two. We mentioned these before. J pillow. Great little travel pillow. Clips to your bag. Keeps you snug. Lets you sleep. Duct tape. Get your mind out of the gutter. We've got one of these mosquito nets and they come with screws but sometimes you can't screw stuff in so get yourself some duct tape and this is just helpful for everything it's actually called gorilla tape a selfie stick sun cream it's super expensive in asia a power bank so if you charge this then when you're on a bus and your phone dies you can just plug it into your power bank and it'll charge your phone zap it and after bite this thing listen to this don't waste it! Just one pump, you get like 8,000. So if you've got a bite, you just stick it on there, pump your bite, and then it takes away the sting, and then put some of this on it as well. Dream it. GoPro accessories. Big dry bag, drones and cameras and all sorts. So if you go in like on a mad trek through the jungle and you have to swim through a river, and you don't want to get your camera wet. Dry bag. The travel adapter. This one is crazy. It's got every single adaptation that you may need. It's got two USB slots as well, which is super helpful. If you team this up with this, is one of the best investments ever. So it's like a mini extension lead. Oh, go with my bag. Got an Asian plug on it. Plug your stuff in. It's got four USB slots as well. So charge on your phone. You can charge and... your Kindle, your phone, your GoPro. Sweaters. Some headphones for listening to Pearl Jam on the plane <laughs> a hammock take a hammock get one of these bags if you're like a photographer videographer and you've got loads of wires get one of these we got this on amazon open it up look got a little wire section little flaps and that for your ocd and that it's got your just keeps everything trust me yeah that, you'll that, need one of these actually that could work as a beautiful makeup bag as well take with you a kindle if you've got any like amazing books like don't just be like, oh, I read this book, it was okay. Come at me with the most beautiful book that changed your life forever. Because I need some to download and take with us. Okay. A lock. Oh, that's a nice colour. So that's about it for the essentials, I think. Next is electronics. So first things first, if you're going to be a photographer and all that stuff, you're going to want a laptop. It doesn't have to be a MacBook, they're quite expensive, but... 
we would fully recommend MacBooks. Get a MacBook. It is my favorite thing that I own. We've never had any problems with it, and it's just a beautiful thing. Mavic Pro, the smallest drone you can get. I mean, it's not essential. It is for us. I would class this as an essential if you're traveling. GoPro, Go -go. doesn't matter whether it's a three or four or five, but get a five because it's got a screen. This one's a little gooseneck, so you can clamp it to stuff like a scooter or whatever. This one's like a little three-way, so it's like a selfie stick. We actually did a good write-up on our website about GoPros, because if you're not, if you don't know about them and you, you're new to them, you're just like, oh my god, what the hell? So we did like a beginner, intermediate, like what you need to know about them and so check that out if you're going to go and get one. So 100% get a GoPro, it will change your life, especially if you're travelling. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about this. If you're going to take any camera, make sure it's a GoPro. We've also got extra extra cameras like a Fuji X100S, which is our go-to city camera. Somewhere around here. We're taking two hard drives, this one's called Pino and Philippe, Ooh. as in F Philippe Pino, Filipino. <laughs> As in Philippe Pino. See what we did there? Hard drives. So um, put your stuff on them. You know, you don't want to lose your cameras if they get nicked. If you've got your hard drives, it's all backed up. And of course, we've got a travel tripod, which we're currently using. We'll link that in the description because it's the best one we found. And our beautiful little Sony camera. With the Rode mic on top, we're going to take our Canon S120 as well, which is our little compact camera, just in case you know, we want to go out in the night and we're going to a dodgy part and we don't want anything to get nicked or we feel in danger, we take the little one. Oh yeah. People keep asking about travel cards. We did our research for ages and look how cool that card is for one. You, well, you ain't losing that for someone might nick it because they might be like... Oh. But this is Monzo. So it's a new company, but they do the best exchange rates. It's free withdrawals at ATMs, and you can just top it up using your phone. So yeah, happy day. Other than that, you're going to need some currency for when you land, because oh, you don't yeah. want to be going to a cash machine or getting ripped off at currency. We went to Maxim's Barks the other day and got some Filipino pesos. Okay, fellas, let's keep this simple. We're not girls. We don't mess about. You don't need much, all right? So keep it as simple as possible. Starting off with your t-shirts. So I've got one, two, three, four t-shirts in a the bag. Then we got two vests. I wanted a bit more, but you can buy them out there for like pennies. So two vests to do for now. Then you've got your shorts. I like to take one pair of walk shorts. If you don't know the difference between walk shorts and board shorts, walk shorts, they've got more pockets in. Board shorts is just for swimming. So one pair of walkers in the bag. Two pairs of walkers. <laughs> These are just more, you know, for like volleyball and shit like that. What? You ain't gonna be playing no volleyball. <laughs> then you got your board shorts. Last time we took about two pairs, this time I got three. Three pairs of Hurley boardies. They're nice and stretchy, nice and comfy. And I live in these for most of the time, so make sure you get a good pair that you're gonna love. Then I usually take like three pairs of pants because you're gonna want to wear pants with your walk shorts. You don't want to get all abrasion and chafage. You can always wash them. Two pairs of socks as well for when you do your treks and that with your shoes. I've got two King in It caps. If you haven't got yours yet, go to the shop. And what I do is I separate stuff in cotton bags. It's the best way to do it. Roll your t-shirts up and your shorts, stick them in one of these, and then they just go in your bag. And you can be like, there's my bag of t-shirts, winning. Then I hate to admit it, fellas, and I don't even know if I'm gonna use these yet, but I got this dirty, horrible pair of hot tuna shoes. Apparently, Amy reckons that I'm gonna need them when we go canyoneering and all that kind of stuff, but they're going in the bag. One pair of sturdy flip-flops. These are reef flip-flops. They're super comfortable. They cost me 20 quid in TK Maxx. One pair of shoes. I've got a pair of Vans. They're not the best for trekking and stuff, but I love them and they go with everything. So one pair of Vans that I'll be wearing up to the airport and for most of the trip. One pair of jeans as well. Sometimes it gets cold in the nights in Thailand on a very rare occasion. It's gonna be freezing flying out, so one pair of jeans. I'm also gonna be taking a King in It zip up hoodie for the evenings as well, it gets a bit chilly. And then you've got a pair of shades. Of course you're gonna need them, otherwise you'll be squinting all the time looking all weird and that. And then your toilet bag. This is pretty straightforward. Shampoo, sun cream, toothbrush, floss. One of these you're gonna need. Especially if you travel with an Amy Bannister, first aid kit. You're gonna fall over and cut your leg. And then if you get on indigestion like me, you want some Rennies too. So that's about it. Get yourself a toilet bag so you don't have explosions in your bag. So that's me. Hello and welcome to the Amy Show with myself, Amy. I'm gonna be packing now for the girls. It might take a little bit longer than Craig's, but um, 
that's just how it goes. I've got a lot of makeup. I'm trying to condense them, trying to condense everything. I know Craig's gonna end up just throwing some stuff out of mine, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so to begin with, start, let's start with your little makeup bag. I've got loads of stuff in here, and I've actually like condensed some stuff down. So this is nail varnish remover and makeup remover. Obviously, I've got some stuff for your hair because when you're coming in and out of the sea all the time and it's sunny it's sort of gonna give your hair a little bit of dryness so you want to take some stuff for that deodorant shampoos i might put them in little bottles as well because this is actually really heavy and just some moisturizer so that that's probably the bulk of everything there just gonna make you hydrated stay looking pretty do you know what i mean this is my makeup bag i might have to add to this i'm not gonna lie there's a few lip liners and, and lipsticks in there people might want to get some like a, a lighter feeling foundation when you go away um i've heard a lot of people saying that but you know waterproof mascara waterproof eyeliner these guys i guess these are like personal preference really i've got a friend that's traveling at, at the minute and she's got like a massive mane of hair she didn't take straightness she was like you're mad but i've got literally the crappiest like thin white toast looking hair that you could ever get and it takes me like 30 seconds to dry it and straighten it so i'm definitely taking these because this is what I look like when I haven't straightened my hair. What? This is a must-have. It's a fold-up hair dryer. It's a babyliss one. It's quite old, so I'll, I'll make sure I try and find it and link it below. It's really good. Obviously, you need an adapter for it to work, but it's got a really powerful blow on that. Few wise A girl a couple of weeks ago mentioned to get these yoga mat shoes, these flip-flops um, online. So I did. I took her advice and I got them, and they're, they're lovely. I would suggest to put a bit more money into your flip-flops because you are going to be wearing them like every day. So don't get like a cheap pair and just be like, oh, they were really cheap. I'm also going to be taking a pair of trainers with me. I'll probably just take these ones, you know, go into the airport. If you're going to be climbing mountains or trekking to waterfalls and stuff, you might want a sturdy pair of shoes. Some leggings. Craig actually chose these bad boys for me. They're nice, aren't they? So if you're going to, obviously for the airport again, it's going to get a bit chilly on some of your flights. And if you're going to be trekking up those mountains... To those viewpoints you're gonna want some of those i've got like four skirts i think probably should have done this pack pack with me after because I, I don't know if i'm gonna end up wearing it all but but i've got four skirts shorts i've got three pairs of shorts some high-waisted denim ones loose ones my mum was like why the hell are you taking those they're only gonna stick to your ass when you start sweating but yeah, they're the original king in it short, so we've got to take them. And then I've got some beach cover-ups. I've got this really nice one that's new in Topshop right now. You could just wear that, you know, if you get sunburn or whatever, whack it on. Or if you're just a fashionista like me, or a little sap. you'll just want to wear it. This is more like a lingerie thing, but it is a beach cover-up. Craig's excited about that one. Don't listen to what Craig has to say. These are the best things you will come across on holiday, right? <laughs> Shop. Pool shoes, water shoes, cool shoes, hot tuners from Sports Direct, £8.50. I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six. Ridiculous. Do you think that's ridiculous? How many days are we away for? Six tops for 90 days. I think that's fine. I'm going to take two pairs of like light beachy trousers. Because when you're walking around the streets, like if you're in Bangkok or Manila or something, I don't want to offend anyone. And obviously when you're going into temples and stuff, you have to cover your shoulders and your legs and they'll give you something. I'd rather look much cooler in my own stuff. So I'm going to take two pairs of them. Oh, in this little pile here is some travel sickness tablets. This is Boots own brand. I cannot recommend them because I haven't used them yet. I'm actually really anxious about this. I'm going to try them. I'll let you know how they go. A shaver and obviously some Panadol ibuprofen for the hangovers when you're drinking all the cocktails on the beach hats where's all the king in it hats don't think you're taking all of those obviously i'm a fan of me hats bad hair you usually wear a hat a belt some cotton pads to take your makeup off and wet wipes but there's somewhere <laughs> we're also going to take some of this so if you know me you know i'm a good fan of fake tan i didn't get this mexican glow from living in barry island so this is bondi sand everyday dual action tanning milk which craig yeah you can borrow if you fancy it because i don't want you standing there looking like a white pasty and then me <laughs> like a bronzed goddess a white pasty oh yeah i don't want to look like a fool when we get there and everyone's tanned and they're like oh they're the new guys do you know what i mean so we're gonna have a go with that a toothbrush some head scarves wear it around your face around your head around your body. I got a good few colors of those, but I'm waiting for them all to come. All of my bikinis, but none of these actually match. And yes, that is how many I'm taking. I do believe bikini a day keeps the doctor away. This is this is happening. That's what's going down by this. So I'll have to pack that in nice. These. So 
Oh, I've got them on. <laughs> <laughs> Counteract how ridiculous we will look in our hot tuners. I got these bad boys, which will make me look cool as F. Reactions. So these glasses are actual sunglasses as well. Last but not least, a king in a zipper. Pop it on if you get sunburnt, you know, if you're feeling a little chill in the night and obviously for the aeroplane as well and when you're on your way to different locations, aircon, buses, on the flights, that'll be lovely and we'll be wrapping and people will be like, oh my god, where'd you buy your jacket from? You look so cool and I'll be like, wow, wow, www.kingin.com forward slash shop. And that's me! Thanks for watching! Sit yourself down. What I, what I said to Amy was, Sit make, down. make sure you pack light because we've got a lot of equipment and we're sharing it this time because last time we travelled I carried everything and Amy just had a bag full of clothes that she never wore and look at the state of this there's no room in there where are we going to get all the stuff? I haven't packed it properly Craig says I've got to roll all my shit so Mold I will roll shit. those bad boys we are ready to go our passports came back today yeah! stamped, ready, signed with Filipino visas oh, I'm, I'm ready, I'm so ready man <sighs> Are you ready to do this, kid? Oh, yeah. King it back on the road for me! <laughs> so we'll see you in the Philippines. One, two, three, five! Bye.